Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at the performance difference between the Core i5 7200U and the new 8th generation Core i5 8250U. And we're running this in the Cinebench test. Um, first of all, we're running the multi threaded version of the test, and we can see here um, that over the start of the test, the 8250 ramps up its clock speed to the maximum turbo of 3.4 gigahertz before settling down to about 2.35 gigahertz. Um, that is compared to the turbo on the 7200U, which hits, sits at about 2.8 for the majority of the test. But because it has twice the number of resources, despite the fact that the um, it's running at a lower turbo clock speed, it still completes this test considerably quicker, about 66% faster, in fact. Um, so that sort of gives you the difference between you have double the units where you might expect 100% performance improvement, but the clock speed difference brings that down and 66 is about where we would expect it. We're also running the single core version of this test in a moment. And what we can see here is that um, in this situation, both chips will run pretty much consistently at that max turbo speed. Now, you may think traditionally the dual core would therefore outperform the quad core because um, your traditionally the dual core chip would have higher clock speeds. But in this case, because of the optimizations and improvements that Intel have made with the KB Lake refresh chips, the turbo clock is actually higher on the quad core as well. Um, it's around about a 300 megahertz uh, difference between them most of the time. Um, obviously, that does fluctuate a little bit with turbo sometimes, but you have roughly a 10% difference in um, clock speed when they are running this test. And the actual difference we see between the two is 12%. So it's possible the larger level three cache on the eighth generation quad core chip is helping as well with this workload. So what you're getting is going to these eighth generation chips is a pretty much a win regardless of whether you're on heavily threaded or lightly threaded workloads. Um, you're gaining on heavily threaded workloads because you have the double the cores to work with, albeit running at a lower clock speed. But on lightly threaded workloads, um, you're benefiting from the higher max turbos running the units at a higher clock speed more of the time versus the equivalent uh, seventh generation SKU. So either way, you're sort of winning with this newer chip. I hope you found this video useful and um, do be sure to let us know what else you would like to see us looking at in the future uh, and subscribe if you would like to see more of these tests as we bring them out because we will have plenty more in the works. Thanks for watching.